Welcome back to Hermitcraft. All right. Well, last time out, got this thing, item elevator going, and items that come up here now get sent down there to the main mob item storage area. And there's one last phase of this to do. And that is... to get this place dark up here after getting the uh, water system set up down there. So, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and dig down here. And as for getting rid of the lighting, what I can do is uh, clean that, I can bridge over there, clean that area up a little bit up there and uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave torches on the spawner on all four sides of it and have an arrangement where I can get over the top and send a water source over there to remove the torches that way when I'm ready for it to be totally dark in here and that should do it and as for light down there I want light down there because the dark only has to be up here in the spawning area. Down there, we don't want any spawns when the water's not flowing. So, get down here. Get this thing arranged. Okay, now in this wall here. And actually, I'm going to need to dig behind there a bit. Just to have room to set things up. What I'm figuring is a line of dispensers along here. And you know something? I came down here without getting every... Oh, I've got the nine dispensers here, so let's get those set up. Temporarily, do the infinite water thing. I don't have enough actual full buckets on me. One bucket in each dispenser. And come to think of it, I should probably not do that until I've got my circuit rigged up and work, ready to work. Okay, yeah. All right. Not sure how much room I'm going to need. I figure what I'm going to do is a simple hopper clock. And uh, what I'll do is I'll put like a stack or maybe two stacks of items in there so that it doesn't fire very often. That way it'll be a little bit more server friendly in the lag department. Because we don't want a whole lot of that. Certainly don't want to cause a whole lot of that. And by a whole lot I mean any, really. I suppose there is some that are going to happen just as price of doing business, but yeah. Alright, so let's see. Oh, crap. I only brought one hopper. I'm going to have to go back up and get another one. Yeah. That's okay. I don't have any of my redstone stuff here either. Alright. I'm going to get all my stuff and I'll be back. Alrighty. Let's get this going. Alright. Second hopper into that one. Break this one. Put it into there. Uh, 
Okay. Comparators. Uh, let's see how this is supposed to go. Uh, block. Redstone dots. Oh. Well, fart. I need to get a couple of sticky pistons. I'll be back. Okay. Let's see if I actually have my stuff together this time. Two sticky pistons. Like that. Not like this. Okay. Redstone block. All right. Uh, one or two. I hope there's going to be enough room here. Uh, repeaters. Actually, there might be if I do this with the repeaters. along here. Activated them all. It's a good thing I got the water out of them. I'm not ready for the torches to be removed just yet. Um, I see a problem. I'm going to move this whole arrangement back. blocks just to be sure okay and now oh, come on okay Comparators. Block here, block there. Redstone dot there. I said redstone dot. And there. Sticky pistons. Redstone block. Yeah, that's better. Because this line needs to be fed from there. And what happens is once the thing sends the block over on this side, it will activate them. When it sends it back over here, they will deactivate. Uh, let's see, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Am I doing this right? I got a feeling I'm not doing this right. Because this is going to turn them on. And they're going to stay on until the thing moves away. And then they will turn off. Will turning on and off one time make the water behave? Uh, let's set up a little test environment. That'll do. And we'll put a bucket of water in that one. And in here I will drop, say, 14 items.
Okay. That part worked, and then when it... Oh. Yeah. All right. All right, got it all on there. Okay, so what this needs to fire, when this clock goes, it needs a circuit that's going to fire two pulses. One to deploy and another one to retract. Hmm. I'm not sure about how to do that right. Yeah, this needs to trigger a circuit that will put two pulses through these guys. One to deploy the water and another one to retract it. Oh. Or I could keep it on a sh shorter time. If I put like 25 or 30 on there. That would have the water out long enough to wash everything off of here into this water stream. And then it would, yeah. Okay, I think I'll probably just end up going with that. It's going to be an easier way to go. So now... Water buckets deployed. One more for the end. One more because I prefer to keep carrying one. All right. Whoops. Let's get rid of this. All right. do this. Get that all covered and filled in. Connect my redstone here. Dig back through here to get access to that. And there's my trip back up. All right, great. So all I need to do now, um, I'm going to go with 32 items. It's not, it'll have it firing both ways often enough, but not so often as to be a serious lag issue problem causer. That'll work. Okay. Perfect. Working as intended. I'm going to hang out here, wait for it to uh, retract. And I'm going to make sure that this whole area has got as much light as I can put in here. I do not want mob spawns down here. There, that should take care of that. And now, just have to get rid of the lights up to top side. Yeah, that'll work. 
That'll wash drops off of there. And since this is regular spiders and not cave spiders, oops. Right, Time to bridge out. Make sure there are torches on all four sides of the spawner and get the ones off of the wall. Leave that. Just for some slight uniformity in this thing. Although I don't suppose it matters too much. That'll do. Let's bring this over this way. Yeah torch up there and that's where I'm going to get access through to let's see, this block directly above the spawner oh okay that's a problem hmm there's another light over there I need to remove And, of course, the zombie spawner directly above is loaded. Hmm. Okay. I have a thought here. that one. Put the block directly above. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Break that out of there. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to get the one off this other side. Okay, spider spawner is active, and it will be totally dark in here just as soon as I get up here and do that. Okay, items are coming through here, just like they're supposed to. I'm going to go ahead and catch this stuff, although a bunch of it's already gone down there, so I don't guess it matters. All right. Now, I'm close enough for the uh, spider spawner to be active, and so it shouldn't be too long before string and spider eyes begin to show up here. And I'm going to hang out until they do. Oh, hey, there's string right there. So spiders are starting to die in there. And it's not really that big of an important thing, because I really have plenty, but the thing the thing is there, and it might as well be set up to collect the stuff from it, because if I'm over here working this thing for XP, then standing right here, I'm close enough for the spider spawner to be active. Yeah. Really, I should go ahead and get this uh, 
silk touch pick repaired. And I gotta do something with the arrows and the bones and the rotten flesh. The arrows, I want to pipe those to be destroyed. I've got tons of them already. The rotten flesh and bones need to be... Okay, the bones, ideally, I should run them over... I, I should work out some kind of a system, something, that will take the bones and drop them into this water stream, because that will send them where they need to go. Uh, I could do the same thing with the rotten flesh. The carrots and potatoes, maybe get them filtered off somewhere. And then the various armor stuff that I can't do anything else with can collect in here until such time as I feel like occasionally dropping in to uh, do something about disposing of them because I can't filter for items like that that have damage values. Nah, and vanilla. Okay. In any event, I think things are actually working out pretty good. It's not perfect, and this whole interior area needs a lot of work just to finalize it and, you know, pretty up the walls with smooth stone or whatever and get things looking better and a little bit less uh, kludgy looking like it is now. But... Uh, it's a step in the right direction. And yes, we're still getting plenty of skeletons in here. They just have to be over there enough. When I'm over here, I think only the spider and zombie spawners are running. Okay. That's, I think, it for item dealing with, item transport and whatnot for here right now. I'm going to have to give some thought about what I'm going to do with the rotten flesh and arrows and bones. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm going to give us some thought, figure out what I'm going to do, uh, bearing in mind the fact that the spider spawner's on the other side of that wall, and the, I mean the skeleton spawner, and the zombie spawner's right over there, and so on. There's not a whole lot of room to move in that direction or that direction. I'd have to take it down and over there or something, probably. Yeah, and sometime coming up real soon... What? Bow baddies? Okay, what's that? Get revenge. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, alright. I'll take it. I, I forgot about the new the new advancements things. Yeah. Okay, so uh, next time what I want to do is get back up on the surface and start working on some landscaping and furthering the construction of the wall. <laughs> yeah. So next time we'll get back to the wall. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here.